All right, so recently, there's been some drama brewing between Jacksepticeye and MrBeast, and I'm pretty sure we all know who both those large creators are on this platform. They've been on this platform for many years. Jacksepticeye mainly being in the gaming category, you know, doing Let's Plays and, you know, scary gaming walkthroughs, and MrBeast, we all already know what he does. Fun explosive pranks, social experiments, crazy-ass money-filled giveaways, and everything else under that umbrella. However, recently, Jacksepticeye was caught, well, he wasn't caught, he was actually voluntarily doing a lie detector test video on his YouTube channel or another person's YouTube channel. And in that video, a Minecraft YouTuber, I forgot his name, I know he's insanely popular, goes on to ask Jacksepticeye, do you like Mr. Beast? And this is what he said. <laughs> now Jack, a completely unrelated question. <laughs> do you like Mr. Beast? No. <laughs> Jack. Oh. And keep in mind, everybody is shocked because Mr. Beast is pretty much the largest YouTube creator on the platform right now. And Jack is attached to a lie detector test, which just verified that he was telling the truth. He does not like Mr. Beast. And uh, you're going to see why in just a minute. Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. Now, in all honesty, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money, and popularity than it did about having fun. You just don't think you had fun playing Squid Games? You don't think you had fun riding on yachts? If he building had... wells in Africa? Now, here's the thing, and I want to make this disclaimer. I have no beef with um, Mr. Beast's crew, Chris, Mr. Beast himself, or anybody else involved in their production. We'll also say that I'm not really a fan of their content either. It's just a way to... And when I say this, I mean this in the most respectful way possible. Too gimmicky, too animated, too explosive. It just feels way too forced to me. It just doesn't feel organic at all. And I understand it's not organic. Everything from the thumbnails to the video length to the people involved to the production, the amount of colors and all that is all calculated for the YouTube algorithm. And I believe that's one of the things that is probably irking Jacksepticeye because gone are the days where you could just, you know, create a simple ass YouTube video like how I'm doing right now, you know, just speaking organically and naturally airing out your thoughts in an unfiltered way without having to think much about it and still being able to have that much success now mostly youtube is filled with highly professional ass documentary channels you know teams literally spending thousands of dollars on each thumbnail trying to perfect what thumbnails will attract the most people the audience you guys to click on it and then after mr beast blew up you got like a hundred other copycat channels trying to do the exact same thing as him and and literally gaining as much success as he's getting right now i just feel like the entire youtube market is just oversaturated with a specific type of mr beast-esque content that is just like how do i put this overshadowing a lot of new and brand new up and coming channels that are really talented people with a lot of intellectual thoughts who just never get the chance or the opportunity to blow up in the algorithm because youtube is so focused on mr beast and other channels just like his and again i have nothing against mr beast i just personally do not find his type of content entertaining again it just feels way too forced and unorganic for me or is it inorganic i don't know you see things like that i'm not going to edit that out but it is what it is you see it's natural now mr beast came out obviously kind of upset at the response that he got from jack the guy in that lie detector test video he said so i ruined youtube because i didn't buy a mansion and sports cars and instead reinvested my money into making content slash focused on doing good and inspiring kids to help people now uh mr beast he does have a point i believe his name is jimmy he does have a point he does reinvest a lot of his money into creating content and based on what i've known he's donated millions and gave away millions to people all around the world so i mean kudos to him but he also says and i quote if he had fun the videos would be longer unquote what does that even mean lol you think i'd give up every hour of my life for 14 year olds if i didn't have fun dead skull emoji this clip is insanely disrespectful in my opinion and obviously there's so much i could say about his content but i'll just take the punches and be the bigger man sigh now here's the thing if i were mr beast i would feel the same exact way because mr beast definitely Definitely does put enough effort into his content. I, I think he puts, in comparison to a lot of other creators on this platform, a fuck ton of effort and dedication into his content.
happened and he's been doing this for a lot of years and he does deserve the credit when it comes to pointing out the fact that he did change the landscape of YouTube and he has broken a lot of different records when it comes to most amount of subs gained within a 30 day period you know he even toppled over the the king of YouTube the former king of YouTube PewDiePie and uh has surpassed him I believe earlier this year or last year so definitely he does deserve all the credit and the glory for everything he's accomplished but that does not take away from the fact that Jack Septic Eye is right that this platform has become all about YouTube views when Mr. Beast has created a specific formula that has gained him success and now everybody else wants to copy as well and I mean it's no wonder why the top comment under this post said I'm honestly with Sean on this I think that's Jack Septic Eye's name they said I think some of the stuff Mr. Beast does is neat and in some cases really helpful for those in need but it has gotten to the point to where I'm not surprised by anything he does anymore. 90% of what Mr. Peace post has to do with money too and is the prime focus of it. He's already proven he can be charitable. He doesn't need to make his charity half of his content. Somebody said Jimmy went Hollywood that's why his content sucks. Now I don't think his content sucks. I think it's just way too overproductionized if that's a word. He says every new video has the same production cost as some movies. Somebody responded back by saying hating at its finest. Now I, I don't know if that's hating. Like maybe it is because he called his content sucky but I mean his videos are, are kind of crazy and outlandish like bro I don't think anybody else is going to be able to compete with Mr. Beast ever somebody said I understand both of them Jack isn't really wrong but I think a lot of people will ignore the points on purpose for sure I understand both points I understand both sides and I'm not really siding with anybody on this specific little beef or drama and personally to me I think the main culprit in this situation is YouTube I think YouTube just needs to stop focusing on content like Mr. Beast like for sure you know Mr. Beast makes entertaining content and he deserves all the views and all the credit but YouTube should start focusing on smaller creators or more you know organic content and not as like highly productionized videos that most people can't even afford to make like nobody wants to spend a week on filming one YouTube video right that may cost thousands of dollars just to upload to their channel and feel burnt out at the end and it's just not even feasible for most people most people cannot even spend a thousand bucks the millions that Mr. Beast spends on his but uh I, I want to know your thoughts and opinions down below let me know everything you're thinking right now and who are you siding with jack on this jimmy on this or are you just down the middle neutral like me with that being said like the video for the algorithm comment down below for the algo share the video if you can and if you're new to the channel sub and turn on all notifications thank you for watching and new video tomorrow